Here we go. Hello, everybody. My name is Regular Gamerox. Welcome to Eyeless Jack. This is an interesting looking horror game. I find Shio. And it's made by, made by the same creators of a few other uh, indie horror games we played, such as. Uh, what was it? Jack in the Box and uh, the Jack the Killer game. Yeah, this one's based off the Eyeless Jack creepypasta. I will admit, I don't actually know anything about this specific creepypasta. I've heard the name before, but I don't actually know anything about, like, its story. Its creepypasta story. But it looked interesting, so we're gonna check it out. It's great to see that these creepypastas are still... Hello. My oh. name is Mitch. I'm here to tell you about an experience I had a few months ago. I have no idea if it was paranormal or whatever stupid words people used to describe supernatural phenomena. But after this experience, I started to believe in it. Oh, hello. Well, those are my last things. I'm glad you didn't leave me in this, Edwin. Your family, Mitch. Of course I'd be here for you, man. Let's just move those boxes inside already. It's getting cold. Thank you, Edwin. Let me get them boxes. Yeah, like I was saying, it's glad I see that people still not forgotten the old uh, creepy pastas that kind of made up a lot of our horror-based childhoods. Stuff like Smile Dog, Jeff the Killer, Slender Man, of course. It's sad to see that the world of creepy pastas had died down over the years. But who knows, maybe you'll make a resurgence one day. I mean, it seemed like it kind of was with Siren Head for a little bit. Hell, even SCP's been making a bit more of a, a rise back up lately. With a lot more of their games. So it's glad to see that stuff like SCP's and creep bosses have not been forgotten. Oh, do not disturb. Nice. Nice arts. Nina. <laughs> In the style of like a Nirvana shirt. Festival of... I think this is Vandal, but I'm not sure. Vinyl stores. <laughs> and random map. <laughs> uh, did I just see some Was that a leaf? I don't actually know. Oh. Hey, man, if you're going to smoke an ass, I was about to say open a window at least, but, uh, well, you got one open. You started smoking, huh? You want one? No, thanks. I don't smoke. Why don't you get some rest? You had quite a long ride to get here. That's not a bad idea. I'm pretty tired. All right. Good night, then. Yeah, good night, man. Good night. And please do, uh, dispose of that correctly. I don't want a fire in this house here. <laughs> if you don't dispose of cigarettes properly, it, it can and very well start a fire. And we literally just moved in here, so y you don't want a fire. I need to clean up my monitor a bit. Here. Oh, I don't like this. this is already... What is that? Good night. <laughs> oh, nothing happened. Well, okay then. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, you guys have a cup of coffee. Good morning. Hey, man. Did you sleep well? I think we did. Yeah, <clears throat> not bad at all. I only heard some strange rustling outside, but I guess it was just a raccoon or something. That is nature for you. Yeah, I agree. That's most likely it. Would you mind raking the leaves outside the house? I will make breakfast in the meantime. Sounds good to me. Sure thing. That'd be a good there breakfast. Be around the ancient. Okay, well, let's go find Rake and do those leaves while he's making the breakfast. Breakfast. Get them leaves, get them leaves. I actually had did some gardening earlier. Well, not really gardening. I had to get rid of some of the weeds that are growing out in the yard. Especially the weather lately. It's been helping to grow the weeds out more and more, and that's not good. We gotta get rid of those. What is it? I didn't I didn't see anything. 
Oh, dang it. I think I missed something. Dang it. I hate it when that happens. You still in there making breakfast? Yes, he is. Being that breakfast. Just got a few more leaves. Bada bing, bada boom, no more leaves. Okay, where's the breakfast? Okay, it looks like an egg, a piece of bread. That's not too bad. And orange juice on the side. Okay, okay, simple, simple and easy. Simple and easy. Can't go wrong with that, especially for breakfast. Twelve fifty six AM. Wow, that's really early in the morning. Well, that's middle of night morning. <laughs> Why the hell did you go to sleep with your window open? Buddy. I don't know how to tell you this, but never go to sleep with the window open. Do I just go back to sleep now? I guess I do. Bruh, no. Always close your windows, lock your doors for going to bed. Close your curtains, close everything. If you go to sleep with the curtains open... What's going on? What the hell happened to you? Take a look in the middle. What are you talking about? Uh, what happened? Oh, don't tell me I'm gonna look like Eyeless Jack now. Look in the mirror. Who do I see? A cut on my face is what I see. An hour later. Yeah, better have Band-Aid. <laughs> hmm. It seems like you've been sleepwalking, Mitch. I have no other explanation for that. That's strange. Indeed. But there is something more disturbing than that gash. What? You somehow lost your kidney last night. Oh, okay, hold on, wait, you can't just... Unfortunately, we don't know how that happened. I'm sorry, Mitch. You can't just drop a bomb like that on us here. Hey, hey, Doc, hold on, hold on, Doc, hold on. You just told us we're missing our kidney. Bro, my kidney's probably being sold on a black market right now. Hold on, you can't just casually drop that like it's nothing. Hold on, man. <laughs> That's not normal. Call the cops. Actually, I'm pretty sure most uh, doctors would call the cops Before or something like that. Could you please sign this paper? What does it say? I can't read it. Great. Take care, Mitch. Oh boy, I feel like I just signed a deal with the devil. Thank you. Well, I'm pretty sure that's most doctors. Well, thanks, Doc, for telling me I'm missing a kidney, and that's about it. Great. So, how did we lose our kidney without us waking up in the middle of the night? That doesn't happen unless you get drugged. Uh-oh. Did you put something in our breakfast? It was Edwin. He put drugs in the eggs. You stole my kidney. <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this. <laughs> How did it go? Well, I'm missing a kidney. And I'm missing kidney. How could this be the case? I don't know. It's so fucked up. I just sleepwalk, remove my kidney, okay. that's it. Take this key. It belongs to your room. Sure. And Mitch, if there's anything bothering you, you can always tell me about it. We should tell him about the fact we're missing a I kidney. Know. Thanks, Edwin. Because you can't, you don't exactly remove your own kidney when you're sleepwalking. Wait, can you? No, I don't think you can. It's I hope not. Uh, do I just go to sleep? I guess I just go to sleep. Missing a kidney. 12 5 a.m. Uh oh. I swear to God, the window's open again. Actually, I can't tell if it is open or closed. Ooh! You my camera fast. I. You will not take my kidney! My kidney is mine! The window. The window. What about the window? He, he probably left through the window or... What? What's happening? Okay. I guess I'm just making a run for it. Oh, I'm losing... Am I losing vision? Yeah, it looks like I'm losing vision. 
No, no, no. What the heck kind of movement is that? The man was going, <laughs> like, what was that kind of movement? Good morning, Mitch. I have uh, what's up, Doc? Bad news. The good news is that you only had minor injuries and your parents are going to pick you up. However, the bad news is that your brother, Edwin, was from there. I'm terribly sorry for your loss. Doctor, your bedside manner is terrible here. <laughs> Doctor. Wait, did Isla Jack kill our brother? I'll take my camera and head back. Check the photo reel on your camera. See if you have to have a picture of Isla Jack. Oh, he got gutted. Edwin was gutted, bro. You see the inside of his chest. Did man get his heart ripped out? Or most likely his kidney, I'm guessing. What's that thing on the floor? That, that's a kidney. What the fuck? That's a kidney. Oh, are we about to be framed for killing Edwin? Hold on. We're about to be framed for killing Edwin, aren't we? I, I guess I'm just going to leave like it's nothing. Not my issue. <laughs> Okay, son. It's a kidney, yeah, isn't it? I'm okay, Dad. Is it Edwin's kidney or ours? Because we lost a kidney, but Edwin's entire chest cavity was like open. Oh, that's it? Okay, I feel like I'm missing something. Let me let me look up the actual creep pasta of Eilish Jack real quick. Because I think that might help me like uh Connect a few dots there. Okay, here we go. One of the most notorious mainstream creepypasta villains, Eilish Jack is a humanoid entity who removes the organs of his victims, like our own character, and eats them. The character's moniker comes from the fact that he appears in a hoodie wearing a blue mask open at the eye sockets, which though they are leaking of black fluid are entirely empty. In later fan-made variants on the original story, Eilish Jack is commonly found standing at the foot of the bed or... Link over sleepless victims. Okay, cool. Well, I'm definitely going to read up about... Uh... Oh, wait, hold on. Here's the actual story. Hello, my name is Mitch. Oh, okay, wait a minute. Okay, so this story, they took the story from the actual... The Creepypasta actual story and made it into the game. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, same events that was happening in the game are from the story. Us going to doctor, telling us we were sleepwalking, found out we lost a kidney. Okay, cool. Oh. Oh, the kidney was half eaten in the store with black substance on it. So yeah, Eyeless Jack took out our character's kidney and tried to kill our character of Mitch. But we escaped, but in the end... Um, in the end, uh, ugh, my brain does not work. In the end, Edwin gets killed as well, gets killed by Eilish Jack, and gets his kidney eaten. Okay, cool. Okay, yeah, so they took the story and turned it into the game. Okay, so that, now that makes a bit more sense. Okay. Cool, cool. Well, overall, very cool game. And I definitely need to, I need to definitely reread on some of these creep pastas because it's been years since I last read like the story of Small Dog and such. And, and again, I do hope they start making like these creep pastas start making more appearances again. I'd love to see a rise in creepy pastas again because it's been a while. It's been a while. I mean, SCPs have kind of had a bit of a resurgence lately, so I would love to see a resurgence for creepy pastas. I thought it'd be very fun. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe since it supports me in the channel. And if you guys have any gaming recommendations at all, do leave it in the comments down below. But till then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay awesome.